I hate painting, I do. You're right guys, this is why the glue dries. Now before I get into it, I want to say a massive thank you for all the well wishes that people have been sending me. I'm feeling a lot better this week than I did last week, so thank you all for your support as always. So let's get right into it now. First up, I'm going to be mentioning the Dewalt plunge saw, or track saw, depending on what you want to call it. Now being totally honest, before I'd actually used one, I didn't really see the major benefit of using a plunge or track saw compared to say a circular saw with a homemade guide but there's a big difference than very precise, very clean cuts. It's just a pleasure to use compared to a circular saw. So I'll leave a link in the description to the one that I've been using. It's a fantastic saw. Now let's have a look at some sales. Now first up, I wanna say a massive thanks to Mark for this one. This is from Wilco. Now Wilco used to be called Wilkinson's and it's like had a rebrand and been called Wilco now. Well, they've actually got a little block plane that's 12 pound. Now Mark did say that it needs a little bit of flattening, but when that's all sorted out, it's a great plane and especially for the money for 12 pound. Block planes are really useful to have, like knocking off corners, adding chamfers, dealing with end grain, especially them really good. So for 12 pound, you can't really go wrong with that one. Next up in the sales, we've got ITS. Now last week I mentioned that they're doing the Milwaukee sale, now that's still going on, but I also noticed they've got some money off their two piece kits. They've got Makita, DeWalt and Milwaukee in the list. So there's a link in the description to it, go and check it out. Two piece kits and a combi drill and an impact driver. Now they're really useful to have and they've got the batteries as well. So it's well worth checking out. Now let's have a look at some contests. Just the one contest this week and it's on Instagram. I use Morel's Lacquer and it's the best lacquer that I've used. But I'm actually running a competition every single month. You need to post a picture on Instagram showing how you've used their product. And I believe you also have to include the product in the picture as well. And you need to use the hashtag MyMorels. And every month they'll pick one winner to win £40 worth of their products. So it's really easy to do if you're using the stuff anyway. Get a picture taken, put it up on Instagram, hashtag MyMorels and you could win some great goodies with it. So get that one checked out, link in the description. Now let's have a look at some events. Now I've been failing to mention these past few weeks that there's actually going to be Screwfix Live going on in September. And a big thank you for James to pointing out that if you get signed up early, when you arrive on the day, you'll get a £30 goodie bag of different items and stuff, so it's worth registering if you're going to be going. And that's going on from the 29th of September through to the 1st of October in Farnborough, so all the information's in the link down below. Also in September, we've got the Yandles Woodworking Show, and that's happening on the 8th and 9th of September. And also there's Tool Fair going on in Coventry on the 21st and the 22nd of September. All the information to those is in the description down below. Now looking forward to next year, we've got Makers Central. Like I say, going to keep ramming this down your throats, it's going to be a fantastic fantastic event. I'm definitely going. Tickets are booked, hotels booked too, so I'm definitely going to be there. I can't wait to meet everyone there. There's going to be massive names from America coming over, so it's just going to be a great experience all round. Get your tickets and everything down below. Now let's highlight some other makers in the community. First up, we've got a new YouTuber. His very first video he's put up recently. He's actually built the Hack Shack in his very first video and what a first video, the production quality is amazing. I love how his personality comes through, his filming style, his editing, everything about it is brilliant. It's from the UK as well, so there's a link down below to that video. Get subscribed, because you're not gonna wanna miss anything that he puts up, trust me. You'll be able to see from the first video just what you'll be able to expect from him, so make sure you get subscribed to that channel. And next up, I'd like to mention the female Chippy. Now, we had Nicola on the podcast last week, so if you haven't seen Makers International's podcast, Go and check it out on one of the panel members and Nicola, it was a great interview, we really enjoyed it so I thank you for coming on. But she's been uploading some videos to YouTube and they're brilliant. She's going to be covering all the basics of DIY, showing you that really anybody can do them and there's no real need to get trade people in to do these simple jobs. And she's really got her head screwed on in the way that she explains it, even the lay person like myself can understand it. So well worth checking out, there's a link in the description down below to her channel, again get subscribed get notifications, all that good stuff. Don't forget guys, you got the hashtag while the glue dries, I didn't actually get any this week, but if you wanna show me what you get up to while the glue dries on your projects, use that hashtag, get it shared over social media, and I can search it and find it and put it up on the show for everyone to see. I really look forward to see what everyone gets up to. Now let's talk a little bit about what I've been up to this week. As you knew from last week, I haven't really been feeling very well, so I haven't been able to do that much. I've actually spent the most of the week painting, and that's why I said at the beginning, I just hate painting. I try and get a perfect finish, and it seems the harder I try, the worse it gets. I made some legs out of plywood, thinking that with some decent primer and top coats, I'd be able to cover up the edges. They still really showed through, and even the grain on the plywood was really prominent. So I then made the legs again out of MDF, 
painted them all and it was looking really nice and then the last coal to spray it splattered and it just went everywhere and I sanded it back and I tried again it, it, it just wasn't working so at the minute I'm using brush on and you can see all the brush strokes so I'm hoping I can get a few decent coats sand it back and then maybe water down the paint a bit brush it on and go over with a roller to try and smooth out the surface a little bit I really don't know painting is where I really struggle I try and I think I rush sometimes to be honest but I've got to get it done at the end of the day so I've got to crack on with it but that's all I've been doing really to be honest is painting painting and more painting so I'll be glad when that's done now I'd like to take the opportunity to thank my patreon supporters honestly guys I really can't begin to thank you all enough for all the support that you show me on my channel it really does go a long way to helping out everything that I do on here and it's just so humbling to see that you would like to support me in that way so thank you so much so that's it then guys, that was Wilder Glue Dries. I hope you found it helpful and I hope you found it informative. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you want to share it around with your friends, maybe they'll find it useful as well, please go ahead and share it. That helps me out a lot too. And if you're not subscribed, click the subscribe button and click the little bell icon to get notifications as well. That way you won't miss a video whenever I upload it. That's it then guys, thank you all for watching. <laughs>